Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modem School Academy, Grade 3 Mathematics. And today we're going to be talking about money problems. And we are going to be on week number 23, day number 4, page of the curriculum. Specifically page 162 of your workbook over there. So you're welcome to turn over to that page um, if you've downloaded the workbook for it. Uh, before. All right. So yesterday we talked about money problems and I know there were lots of moving pieces to it. So today we're going to go over it one more time just to make sure that you get it. So what they told us is a bag of tomatoes costs five dollars and twenty five cents. A bag of bell peppers cost four dollars and fifty cents. A bag of potatoes costs nine dollars and five cents i need two bags of tomatoes that's going to be multiplied by two can you see that multiplied by two i need one bag of bell peppers that's going to be multiplied by just one i need two bags of potatoes that's going to be multiplied by two so that's what we need over there if i have a hundred dollars to give them at the checkout right in my wallet to pay for all these items what is going to be my change? All right, so I need two bags of tomatoes. I need one bag of bell peppers. I need two bags of potatoes, right? So how do I do this? I am going to multiply $5.25 by two. And that's what I did over there. Remember, that's what we did yesterday. So we're walking through it all over again to give you an opportunity to see what we did yesterday so you can better internalize all these concepts. So when you go to the checkout of the store, you understand what you're doing. All right. So that's going to be $5.25 multiplied by two. So that's going to be $10.50. So you have that $10.50 over there. Then what about your bell peppers? Bell peppers. I need just one bag of bell peppers. So that's gonna be $4.50 multiplied by one. Well, if I'm multiplying something by one, it's just gonna be that number, $4.50, okay. Then I went to potatoes. So I need two bags of potatoes. So we need, we need to multiply $9.05 multiplied by two, and that's what we did over there. $9.05 multiplied by two. Well, we got $18 and 10 cents so we were 18 dollars and 10 cents over there all right so what are we going to do right now how much will all these items all these items over here how much will they cost us well we did that addition problem over there we added 10 dollars and 50 cents together with four dollars and five cents together with 18 dollars and 10 cents and then we did that calculation over there we got 33 dollars and 10 cents but that's not the end of the story i only have a hundred dollar bill in my wallet to pay for all these items i'm gonna give them a hundred dollar at the checkout what's gonna be my change what's the left over there so that's a subtraction problem 100 dollars minus 33 dollars and 10 cents so if you do that subtraction you're gonna get 66 dollars and 90 cents okay so just to give you an opportunity to see how we got this, because I don't want it to be too fast for you. But just like faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God, mathematics is going to come by hearing and hearing and understanding and hearing and hearing over and over again until you get it. Word problems with money. Did you get it? I trust you did. All right. So there is going to be exercises on page numbers 162 of your workbook and 163. Please go ahead and turn over there and try to complete those exercises so you can better internalize these concepts we're talking about. You're going to be a master of them. All right. Uh, remember to recite your morality creed, and you're welcome to take a snapshot of the worksheet on the board when I step aside for just a little bit. If you haven't downloaded your workbook just yet. All right. God cares about you, little heroes, and so do we. Bye-bye. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died. 
and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sin. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you worry